Whether it is your first or 50th balloon fiesta, the history and tradition of our state's signature event is passed down through the generations. As part of KOB's 75th anniversary, we're launching our celebration of New Mexico with a look back at how a small gathering turned into an international spectacle. Hawker Vanguard shows us how the balloon fiesta is growing with New Mexico. We have a absolutely perfect morning out here for the 13th annual uh, International Balloon Fiesta here in Albuquerque or out at Cutter Field. I don't think it's just because we were the first. I think and hope it's because we're the best. Each and every October, the skies above us come to life in an aerial pageantry of nylon, flames, and hot air as Albuquerque morphs into the hot air balloon capital of the world. This is where it all started. This is the motherland, the mothership, whatever you want to call it. You know, you could compare it to like uh, Lambeau Field for the, uh, for the Packers or Soldier Field or something like that. It was at Coronado Mall and it started with just 13 balloons and they thought it was going to be a minor event. It was just supposed to be a small effort to celebrate a landmark anniversary in 1972. The balloon fiesta caught a gust of momentum from enthusiasts who wanted to make a piloting pilgrimage every year since. Now it's a tradition in its third generation. Family is a huge part of ballooning, both from the aspect of being spectators, but also for the participants. The years have flown by. Pilots are more experienced than ever. The balloons are bigger and the crowds are breaking records. There is uh, what we call the graying of the industry happening, where a few people have decided to, you know, retire from ballooning. But many pilots like Scott Appleman, they're ready to turn over the burner. Trying to get the younger generation involved in hot air ballooning is a big challenge right now. That would be class D to 80 or 8800. It looks like you would be in class Charlie. Because it's it's not like an airplane. You can't turn left. You can't turn right. You have to have a relationship with the balloon itself. You kind of you kind of talk to it and you kind of figure out what it wants and what you want and you kind of meet in the middle. Kirsten Wainer is a balloon and fixed wing pilot at Albuquerque Aviation Academy. Never mind that she's also a senior at the only high school in New Mexico that you can graduate from with a diploma and a handful of pilot certificates, something that would otherwise cost 20, even $30,000. I kind of just learned that I didn't like my, I didn't like public middle school and I wanted something different and I had been ballooning my whole life. There's this like pilot school, do you want to try that? And the rest is history, now I'm a pilot. Flying for me is secondary compared to the fulfillment I get being able to open doors for these kids. Aeronautics Director Dr. Lauren Chavez, call sign DOC, wants our future aviators to be inspired and prepared to take over as more senior pilots retire from different sectors of the aviation industry. The best success story is our student who decided to be a pilot to teach other kids at his alma mater. I think that's the greatest success story. Double Eagle to support, then we went into Albuquerque. I took the Discovery flight here and Doc, she let me fly it the first time. I don't think I would have been a pilot if I hadn't come here. Rebecca Schuyler Posen, also a senior at Albuquerque Aviation Academy, is ready to take her education to an aeronautics university when she graduates in May. Rotate. Best rate of climb, 75. Kirsten and Skyler both want to bring their piloting skills to Balloon Fiesta Field and beyond as they look forward to a career where keeping your head in the clouds is encouraged. We're starting to work with the SAMS Academy in order for us to kind of refill those ranks of commercial pilots um, and still trying to spread the word of ballooning, whether they do it commercially or whether they do it recreationally. It's a mass ascension of tradition for the sake of keeping New Mexico skies vibrantly glowing for generations to come. Hawker joins us here in the studio. So Hawker, the Academy is filling this balloon pilot shortage. Is there a national impact? Yeah, so beyond just balloons, we're looking at air traffic controllers, commercial pilots, think, you know, regional jet pilots and airline pilots. People who are retiring now, we're gonna need to fill those ranks as well. And because this is a free program, it's a charter school, lots of people are coming, graduating, and with distinction. Yeah, a lot of effects there for us. All right, thank you, Hawker.